Story time with Grandpa Ben. Darling, did you remember to record the weakest link? Oh, for goodness sake! Now I'll have to watch it on the Plus One channel. You know, I hate changing my schedule. Oh, <laughs> hello again. You, you are persistent, are you? Well, uh, I'm afraid you've rather run me dry of stories, so I, I've had to dig out my memoirs to find something else to share with you. But I think I have found just the story. This is about the first time I saw a man poo and was immediately propositioned afterwards. Stumbling with six pint steadiness on shore leave feet, down a pulsating Budapest street. The bass drained away behind me, and the blinding club lights faded as I was drawn away by a drunken yet robust midnight wanderlust. Underneath an overhanging balcony, I saw a homeless man walking towards me. And I don't know why I did what I did, <laughs> but I hid. I hid behind a pillar, outside a great, ornate, Hungarian villa, and I caught sight in an ageing street lamp's feeble, flickering light of a young woman in red. She was twenty feet away, maybe just ten. I was distracted because that was when I heard a sound that I will never forget. The sound of rock bottom, the sound of regret, the sound of half a pound of bumwe, of a dirge far beyond diarrhea, fear and a foul smell thickened the air. The homeless man had, believing he was alone, let loose a butt juice torrent in the doorway of the stately home. And it wouldn't stop. Drop after bubbling drop slops aplenty, fermented and fierce. Catching the scarlet woman's eyes, we shared a look of surprise. We shared an expression that transcended language barriers. Shock that this serene scene had been violated by something so obscene. And when it was done, when the runs had run, and the rippling Danube had gained a new turbulent tributary, the man drew up his jeans and disappeared. The Scarlet Woman again met my glance. We awoke from our trance, and she approached. Now I thought we'd shared a moment, just a moment, nothing too complex. But she placed her hand upon my arm and boldly asked me, Sex? <laughs> well, <laughs> talk about timing. <laughs> I am, I'm flattered. But now... Really? Right after watching an old man nearly crap out his internal organs? Oh. And then, only then it hit me. But given my beer-battered state, please allow me some concession. This woman belonged to a very old profession. <laughs> now, call me a prude, but that is not my thing. I fall on the side of wait until she's wearing two rings. So I did what any awkward Brit would do. I threw her hand off me and fled. I got lost for three hours, had my tea, and I went to bed. <laughs> off you go, off you go, child. <laughs> Darling, there was nothing wrong with that story. Look, it's a perfectly natural thing. He's old enough to know. He'll have to learn it one day. What, who are you going to trust? His, his PSAG teachers? <laughs>